Okay, Lou, it's time to get up. All right, good morning. Louis Bichelle has Angelman syndrome. Mom. A simple name for a complex disorder. He can't brush his own teeth. He can't take his own bath. He needs somebody with him 24-7. Angelman syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects Louis' sleep cycle. A special bed keeps him safe. His sleep disorder is really hard. Almost every night I'm still getting up and going in and sleeping in the extra bed in his room and trying to help him get back to sleep again. Louis is 16, the youngest of five children and the only boy. And when he was born, he seemed perfectly fine right when he was born. Over time, he, it became more apparent because he had trouble sitting up, he had trouble rolling over. Okay, here we go. Now, Terry Joe says Louis is like a two-year-old in a teenage body. Um, when I look at him, I see this tall, handsome kid locked in. I see a door across his eyes, and he's just waiting to get out. So with a mother's love and a scientific curiosity, Terry Joe decided to try to open that door. All Louie had was one gene that needed to be fixed. So I just rolled up my sleeves and went to work. The science wasn't moving fast enough for me, from the bench to the kid. My kid was growing up, so I thought there can't possibly be anybody more motivated than me to move this bench stuff into these kids. Angelman syndrome affects one in 10,000 births, caused when one gene from the mother's chromosome doesn't turn on. And there's very little research on it. So Terry Jo left a midwife practice that she loved. So I've got these. For Vanderbilt's PhD program in neuroscience, ending up here at the Vanderbilt Brain Institute in her 50s, studying Angelman syndrome. Her newest research has a surprising finding, a link between Angelman syndrome and circadian rhythms, the biological clock. And that research has led to finding a drug compound that could one day treat the disorder. We could be finding the first way ever to reverse intellectual disability ever. But we think that maybe even in adults or older children with Angelman syndrome, that if we turn on this gene, we might actually be able to rescue a lot of the symptoms. For Louis, it could be too late. He might be too old, but still, Terry Joe hopes. If he, if he could just talk a little bit, if he could move better, if he could balance better, if he could sleep better, you know, I would feel it was successful. I meet a lot of new families with these brand new babies. People are being diagnosed younger and younger and younger now. And I think that baby, we're gonna help that baby. It might not help Louie, but if it hadn't been for Louie, we wouldn't help any of them. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.